solid angle to keep the puck behind the net. So Will, dump it in hard. Yup. There. Oh, that's a bounce. Take two. Yup. See that puck coming? Right there. That's what I want to see. That V angle. You really have to be intentional about it. Turn that body into the boards. Slide the stick. You want it stick distance? So I'll lift you already. One more time, Will. Yep. See you coming in. Boom. You get it? One stick distance off the boards. Watch how I go. Forehand to backhand. Okay? That's what I want to see. Make sure we're not just doing this. We're not stopping it. You need me in the open plate. Now, Will, if you go to the backhand side, on the backhand side, especially in a rink like this, guys, especially in a rink like this, using butt to the boards is really effective. Go ahead, Will. Yep. See it here. Oh, that was a bad bounce. One more time. Yep. So I see it coming. Look what happens. If I go butt to the boards, go ahead, Will. I see the puck. I can use my stick to corral it if that puck bounces out. See, it's coming around and it bounces out. I can see it and stop it. But if I'm standing like this, it's really tough. One more time, see if we get a bad bounce here. Up here, I see the puck. Look at that. Bad bounce and I stop it just like that. So it's a really good tool to have in your toolbox of not always have to go like this or like this. You're playing in a, in a weird rate like this, but to the boards, bad bounce, stop with your stick, or stop with your skate. Does that make sense, guys? Good stuff here, very nice.